Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about dative bonding or coordinate covalent bonding. Coordinate covalent bonding or dative bonding is a special kind of bonding in which an unequal sharing of electrons is there. Unequal sharing means both electrons of a bond will come from one atom only. And this kind of bonding is a rather special case of covalent bonding. In normal covalent bonds, there is equal sharing of electrons while in this case, unequal sharing of electrons is there. That is the reason coordinate covalent bonding is different from normal covalent bonding. Now we are going through some examples to understand this topic in a much better way. We are going to take ammonia and mix it with BF3 and let's see what kind of bonding is there. As you all know boron contains a vacant orbital while nitrogen contains a lone pair of electron. So the electrons of nitrogen will be donated to boron in the vacant orbital such that a bond is formed in between these two molecules. This bond is denoted by an arrow which goes from the donor atom to the acceptor atom. Coordinate covalent bond or the dative bond can be represented in one more way. We first assume that out of these two electrons of nitrogen, one electron is donated or transferred to the boron atom such that nitrogen will attain a positive charge while boron will attain a negative charge. Now both nitrogen and boron will have only one electron and these electrons will combine to form a bond. This is a rather better representation of coordinate covalent bonding or dative bonds. The reason is in this kind of bonding we are not showing the bond through an arrow. An arrow denotes a special kind of bond while after the bond formation we cannot differentiate a coordinate covalent bond or dative bond from a normal covalent bond. The bond strength and bond length will be rather similar. So they cannot be differentiated. And if they cannot be differentiated, why we should use a different notation? So we can just show a positive charge and a negative charge to show this kind of bonding. This time we are going to take example of NH3 and H plus and we are going to form ammonium ion. As you all know H plus will have vacant orbital while ammonia will have a lone pair of electrons. Now we can again show bonding in between them either by an arrow or charge separation. The better structure of this ion should look like this one. And in this case through IR datas, infrared spectrum datas, we can say that all NH bonds are equivalent. So we cannot differentiate the coordinate covalent from normal covalent bond. But in this case, we are showing a special representation for one bond. So this bond should be something different. So this representation looks slightly incorrect while this representation looks perfectly correct. We can either show the ion like this or we can put brackets and show a charge like this. Okay, thank you.